should I buy a house with my boyfriend, my girlfriend, my life partner, or maybe even my parents? I get this all the time. So, you know, things have changed today. What it used to be in the 50s, you know, people would commit to each other. They'd go in and get married. They'd make plans. Then they'd buy a house. And then they'd start having a family, having some kids. Well, today, they, you know, it's not uncommon for people to call me and say, you know, we've got three kids and we're wanting to buy a house and we're not really sure if we're serious about each other. We'll probably get married in about seven or eight, nine years. Well, things have changed today. So should you buy something? Should you buy a house right now? Do you, it, you need to know when you buy a house with somebody, if you're on the loan or on title, it's like getting married. So let me, explain, let me tell you a story. I had some friends that had their son and soon to be, well, his girlfriend, they wanted to buy a place. And they said, you need to go see Alan. And they did that because they knew that I would be real with them, raw, and I'd be honest with them. So they came in together, sit in the office, young couple, and said, Alan, you know, we, we, uh, we're super excited. We love each other and we want to go in and buy a house together. So I asked them, so are y'all planning to get married? And you know, you could tell it's a little bit different for them. And they said, you know, we're not ready to do that yet. We're not, we're not at that point. We're not that committed yet, but we want to go ahead and buy a house. So I had to tell them, let me explain to you what's going to happen here. If you go buy a house together, in essence, you are getting married. You're signing a contract. Now, it's not a marriage contract, but you're actually signing a contract with that house. Which also means, because I've had this happen so many times, which also means if something happens to you guys and you were married and got divorced, or if y'all don't make it and split up, what's going to happen with that house? So I recommended to them at that point, I said, you know, for the guy, he needs to buy the place in his name. And then down the road, if they feel like they're going to get married or they're 100% committed, or if they want to do it now, they could, they could do that. So he went in and they bought the house. Now he bought it in his name. He put his money for the down payment. He was the one making the payment in this situation. So everything was great. They bought the place. About nine months later, you know where this is going. He calls this little Alan. Things didn't work out the way we thought. She's moved out. Things didn't work out. It was a disaster. And I need to sell this house now. What do, you, what do I do? What's going to happen here? And I said, do you remember our conversation about nine months ago? And it was really fuzzy. You know, when you're in love, you're not really paying attention. So let me explain to you what's going to happen. When he bought it, it was only in his name only. But two months into it, two months after, he called and said, she wants to be added to title. And, and I told him, if you add her, she's got ownership completely. So he said, she feels like if I really loved her and I'm really committed to her, I need to add her to title. So I told him. So anyway, we added her to title. So there's two things. If you're on the loan, the loan means who the bank can go after. Title's totally different. Title is who owns it. So you can put a loan in his name and add somebody later. So he added her to title. So she had ownership. So she, she moved out. He wanted to sell the place, but he can't sell it if she won't sign off on the deed to release her ownership rights to the house. So we had to call her and have a conversation. She said, and keep in mind, in this case, she, had, she hadn't been paying, she had no money involved. And she said, I'll be glad to do that if you struck me a check for $20,000. The girl was brilliant. And he was livid about it. But about three weeks into it, after calling me, calling his parents, calling me, calling her, realized he's, he's got nothing. And she could have put any dollar amount she wanted to. So at the end of the day, he had to stroke a check for her for $20,000, gave it to her, at the same time she signed off her deed, and then he was able to go in and sell the property. So, why buy the cow when you get the milk for free? Should you buy a house with your mom, dad, family, anybody, partner? Just know each situation can be different, and it is just like a marriage, it's a contract and agreement that can have different repercussions down the road. So if you've got any questions, reach out and let me know. I'm Alan Christian, talk to you soon.